Utqal has been severely flooded after days of torrential rain, leaving a large area submerged and caused widespread disruption. Rivers have burst at their banks, inundated home businesses and farmland. Emergency services have been stretched to the scramble to rescue residents trapped by the rising water, particularly in the central and northern region of the country. The flooding has caused significant damage to infrastructure, with the roads and bridge washed away and several towns cut off. Public transportation has been heavily disrupted, with the train lights submerged and the flight cancelled due to water looted runway. Authorities have issued a highest level on the alert in several regions warning to continue have rain and potential landslides. In the city of Porto, the Dota River overlapped the bank flooded near its streets and forced evacuation. Many residents have been saved their shelters in the temporary accommodation of the homes have been rendered unpredictable by the deluge. Emergency shelters have been set up. They accounted about the hour common more than people are displaced. The Portugal government has mobilized military response to assist with the rescue and recovery operations and temporary barriers have been erected to attempt to talk back in the weather. Prime Minister has urged citizens to remain vigilant to follow the advice to local authorities the situation remain critical. We are forced into national emergency, said Costa in television address. The government is working to terrorists to ensure the safety of all citizens, but we are urged everyone to take precautions and avoid travel unless absolutely necessary. Meteorologists have attributed the extreme weather a combination Atlantic storm on the streets. Climate change we are said to live in the more frequent and intense weather event. The current system is expected to continue for several more days, exactly back in the older days. Station. Environmental groups have called to urgent action to address the impact of climate change to Portugal's weather patterns. This is not isolated to incidents and environmental activists will need to prepare more frequent and severe flooding to global temperatures continue to rise. Portugal is no stranger to natural disaster or having enduring deadly wilderness in recent years, but the scale of the intensity of the current flood have shocked by the nation. As the recovery efforts begin, attention is tuning how the country can better protect itself from the such devastation events in the future.